This Veterans Day, we should remember that there are veterans suffering right now and that they are victims of a war crime perpetrated by American politicians, a war crime aided and abetted by powerful Americans. And we should remember the guilty parties who sent the soldiers over there to get injured and killed in these illegal wars still have not been brought to justice. And just now I wanted to look up just how many victims there are. And I find out even with that there's more game playing. A million veterans injured in Iraq-Afghanistan wars. This is from last year. The International Business Times reported Friday that the Department of Veterans Affairs had stopped releasing the number of non-fatal casualties of the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, thus concealing what the paper called a grim milestone of one million injuries. Yesterday we learned that Iraq war veteran Thomas Young has died, and we learned that he had spent his last days in pain. He and his wife had moved to Seattle just a month ago after her husband's pain medications were tapered down by the Veterans Affairs Hospital. His wife tried to stretch out his pain medication, but he would wake in the middle of the night with breakout pain. I should point out that I'm reading from an article on an ABC webpage. ABC News really should have made what I just read available to TV viewers. They should have said these things during the broadcast. I'm not sure even if they broadcast the news of his death. This was just an article from a webpage. And the video featured on that page is from last year. Milton Berger does not really want those memories to go away. He believes it would dishonor those who died, those who lie wounded. ABC doesn't honor the veterans. Honoring the veterans would be holding those who hurt and killed them accountable for their crimes. They should have pointed out that, number one, the Iraq war was a crime. President Bush clearly is guilty of a war crime. You can see my video right here. It's crystal clear. And number two, that we should hold war criminals accountable for their war crimes. That's what Thomas Young wanted. I especially did not join the army to carry out preemptive war. Preemptive war is illegal under international law. And as a soldier in Iraq, I was, I now know, abetting your idiocy and your crimes. And it was you, Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney, who started this war. It is you who should pay the consequences. I hope you will be put on trial. But mostly I hope for your sakes that you find the moral courage to face what you have done to me and to many, many others who deserved to live. I hope before your time on earth ends, as mine is now ending, you will find the strength of character to stand before the American public and the world, and in particular the Iraqi people, and beg for forgiveness. And if you want to learn more about Thomas Young, you can buy this movie. A movie that I made with Ellen Spiro. The movie is titled Body of War. It is a non-nuanced anti-Iraq war film. And don't forget, subscribe to Representative Press. Let's build up this platform to reach more people. And there's more information in the video description about Phil Donahue's documentary, Body of War. He had been continuing to visit Thomas Young. He visited him just last month. And Donahue points out that Thomas wanted people to know that this is the drama being played out in houses across the country, occupied by thousands of young men and women who fought in the war, referring to the injuries that left Young and others in need of care. Young was paralyzed from his injuries. Young knew that he was manipulated into participating in a war crime, as he pointed out in his last letter to Bush and Cheney, which I featured in a previous video, which you can see here. We must work to get these war criminals held accountable. The Iraq war is such a clear-cut case of a war crime. See this video here, proof that will send him to prison. Bush's lie exposed. The American elites of our media are playing along with a war crime. For example, that article from that ABC webpage made no mention about how Young said the war was illegal and how he hoped Bush and Cheney would be prosecuted for their crimes. It only made mention of things like America should use diplomacy, it only should use war as a last resort, how soldiers should be better equipped, and how they should be cared for after the war. The American officials who perpetrated this war crime must be held accountable, of course, not only to honor the American veterans, but also to respect the Iraqi civilians who were injured and killed. Hundreds of thousands were injured as well.